to the channel folks well I guess it's been about almost two and a half years since I put out my first YouTube video actually it's been a lot longer than that I started my channel back in 2011 uh, unfortunately a lot of those videos that are on there from that time period it were either banned or copyrighted to the degree that you know or there was language YouTube was a different place uh, in 2011 so I don't have any there I still have those videos but I can't I can't show them but the video you're gonna see here is my very first one um, you can tell it's my first one you know you can tell a new YouTube channel because well they may not have the best equipment they may not have the best editing skills uh, fortunately I did know how to edit but I, I had to learn a new editing program I uh, shot most of my uh, videos with this old Nikon point-and-shoot which has pretty good quality and then I had a 10 year old uh, Sony Handycam that I used sound was horrible you know video quality wasn't the best <laughs> there was no stability but as I approach uh, 1100 videos that I have done I just wanted to go back a lot of you have not seen this video but this is the very first one I did you can if you pay attention you can see a lot of differences in the way around my property looks um, you know I, all my trees were still up before they were cut down uh, it was a totally different looking place so hey man check it out and, and you know just if anybody's starting a YouTube channel you're not gonna have I still don't have the top-notch quality videos um, it's just you got to get to a place where you feel comfortable and you know do the best you can do and the more you more videos you put out the better they'll get and you'll get more comfortable in front of the camera now the first thing you'll notice in this video uh, especially when I go back to the old where the old deck was back there how uncomfortable I, I looked uh, in front of the camera you know I, now I can sit here and go I don't care it doesn't bother me you know because I'm shy but anyway this didn't get many views so I doubt many of you seen you know maybe the people that have been with me from the beginning you guys have seen it but it's probably been a long time but I, I kind of just stumbled on it today and I watched it and I'm like wow that wow wow I mean it's the video quality is not so bad you're gonna get frustrated with it but you can tell you know getting the good cameras and stuff what a difference that makes so here it is man it's I think it's called red beans and rice or something I didn't know anything about renaming them uh, naming or thumbnails or any of that so all right I thank you guys all for getting me over we're almost at 12,100 now almost so and that that took a while and I'm no by no means a I am not a big channel there are a lot of bigger channels but it's it's not easy sticking with it uh, you know a lot of people give up but i'm still here and i'm gonna keep going all right guys thanks for watching here you go enjoy all right welcome to my channel uh out here on my back deck this will be my first video uh so i'm dealing with camera getting the use of all the cameras things like that uh, uh, let's see, Dog Man Homestead. That's because I got dogs. They're spoiled. It's just me here. I bought this house eight years ago. It was nasty. And I've been working on it ever since. And I've got all the photos of what it was and what it, what it is now. And we're going to do a lot more in the future. So, uh, subscribe. And hope you enjoy the videos. Well, it's puppy dog supper time. Got everybody's mixed up. I feed the dogs outside diamond maintenance. They're older dogs. They like that a lot. It's not one of the store-bought brands, but it's good stuff. And I've mixed in some pedigree into their dry with some water for to add gravy. They like cool water in the summer. The rooster has got her Caesars, chicken and liver. Then she's got a little bit of that. But the favorite thing she likes, cheese. They all like cheese.
cheese. Let's put some cheese on the pepper. Let's put some cheese on it. Okay, let's give you your supper. But next to your dry food. You're out of your favorite kind. The store don't have any more. I'm going to add a little cheese to theirs. You think my dogs are spoiled? I think they are. Well, let's go feed them. Stack them up. We'll go feed Libby. Waldo and Lily. There we go. Hungry Lip. She comes out of her yard and she likes to come out here. She's got a shade shelter right here. It's starting to rain. There you go, baby girl. There's my house. There's these hungry hounds. Get back. Get back. Yeah, you smell cheese, don't you? Okay, come on. Look at him. Stop jumping. Alright, guys, it's starting to rain, so let's eat. There's the boys. Hello. Oh, is the rain going to scare you? <laughs> eat your supper. Say hi, my name is Lily. My daddy rescued me out of the National Forest with my brothers and sisters. And I was the crazy one and daddy took me. Eat your supper. Eat it. Well, these are my chickens. That's Waddles the rooster. He was born with a birth defect. He walks like a North Korean soldier. Walk for him, Waddles. Boss said kill them. I took them home. And all these hens, they're old hens. And they didn't have a future, so I took them home too. Got a nice little nesting box in there. Got some green peppers for you guys. Get it, Waddles. They're spoiled. They get tomatoes, watermelon, cantaloupe, green peppers. They love green peppers. And that's the chickens. All right, we're making some red beans and rice. Let me get over here where you can see what I'm going to do. I got some smoked sausage. Uh, rooster, I see you down there. He's waiting for one to fall. It's not going to happen. Dogs don't eat smoked sausage. Oh, goodness, look at you. I'm using Zatarin's. I don't make everything from scratch. Zatarin's is good. Then I'll add a couple red cans of red beans minus the gunk that they put in the can with it. I don't know what that stuff is. Already got the rice and that cooking. We're gonna fry up this sausage. Rooster, get out! Get out of Jay's kitchen. You know I don't like that. You'll get one. And we're just chopping. Alright. Now. That's what I'm dealing with. A little beggar. You're terrible. Alright, let's go over here to the stove. I'm still getting used to this tripod thing. Let's see. Rooster, get out of here. Don't eat red beans and rice. All right, got the sausage going in the cast iron skillet. We have a little garlic powder. Wait a minute, I forgot to have minced garlic. Where is it? Where is it?
Get away from there. You're a pesky little booger. Daddy's kitchen. Get out of Daddy's kitchen. Ah, a little mint garlic in there. Gotta have garlic. Gotta have it. Then we're gonna add a little Louisiana hot sauce. Just a little bit. A little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. Mm, I gotta get a new bowl. You want to char. You want to char that sausage. Get it good and done. Look at that cook. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to open the cans of red beans. Get out of here, Richard. Got that sausage cook. I'll open the beans. Junk out of the red beans. Throw in the pot. <laughs> then I'm going to throw in in a rotel. Watch that sausage. Oh, we don't need green pepper. Chicken oil, though. You can just put the chicken oil like it. put green peppers in it, but I picked those from the garden the other day and they got to be used. Green pepper don't hurt nothing. Bruce Dirt, here, have a sausage. Just kidding. No. Come here. Get out of there and quit doing your snarfle gating. Uh. Alright. I'm going to stop it here and then we'll come back when it's all mixed up. Alright. We're going to call it a day. I'm going to try to get a video uploaded every day. Tomorrow, I think we might change the wheel bearings out on the truck. Everybody needs to know how to change wheel bearings out on a truck, so that'll be fun. But I'm going to try to get one every day. I'm still figuring out the editing and all that, so bear with me. Uh, as I get better equipment, I'm sure the videos will get better. Uh, that's about it. See y'all tomorrow.